Good morning or hello everybody. This is John Finn with SupernaturalHouseChurch.org and once again bringing you uh, efforts to, to walk us through the discipleship process. Today the first part of a three-part series asking the question if tithing is for today. It's much larger than that but if you're like me every time the pastor would go uh, turn to Malachi 3 you know I would check out mentally and actually next week in part two I'll, I'll tell you what that really means and that'll rock your your boat there, um, killing some sacred cows there. But today I want to get to the root of giving. Why is, why is giving even in the scripture? Before we tackle giving in the New Testament, and that involves some Hebrew words, and if you'd like to take notes or go over this again, you may want to do that. But the, the first Hebrew word is tzedakah, and what I, what I want, want to get to is the root of why giving is a part of our lives. Uh, forget the 10% and everything else, just get to the root of it. And I'll state it outright, and then I will show you some of the evidence of it. The root of giving, which you probably have never heard before, the root of giving is that is bound up in this word tzedakah. It's translated as righteousness in the Old Testament. It, you can spell it a couple different ways. T-Z-E-D-A-K-A-H. T-Z-E-D-A-K-A-H. Tzedakah, you can also spell a couple different ways, like T-S-E-D-A-Q-A-H, different things like that. But it means righteousness. And righteousness in the Old Testament embodied two elements of it. But here's the root of it. Here's the root of it. In, in spite of anything you've heard of Malachi 3 and give to get and hundredfold return and and give to manipulate God, and everybody who comes up here and gives $100 is going to get healed, and all the junk that you've heard. Uh, here's the root of it. And, and this goes back to the Hebrew roots, and it's this. Because we have God in our lives, because we above all people know God, because he is our God, and he is personal to us, and we have this relationship with him, because we know God, we naturally want to flow from that amazing relationship out to other people in our, in our money, in our time, in our talent, in our resources, to invest in other people. The root of giving is, is found in the fact that I know God. And because I have this amazing walk with him, an amazing thing above other people in the earth who don't know him, I naturally, out of that outflow, want to give to others. That is the root of all giving. And that is why all of Hebrew uh, faith in the Old Testament and why all of our faith in the New Testament is bound around these two elements. Love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. Because when you love God with all your heart and you have this flow in you, you naturally flow to others. The root of it is that we love God so much, we are so dynamic in our walk with him, we naturally want to flow out to others. And it's so sad. That, that giving gets wrapped up in formulas and percentages and, and, and manipulation and try to, you know, give money to remind God that you've got this need and, you know, by Friday. And, and it's, it, it, you know, years ago, I'll tell you this, years ago, 1978, I worked for a ministry and, and my, my pay each week, my gross pay before taxes was $150. My net was about $111. And, uh, and so Barb and I were faithful tithers, you know, $15 every single week back into that ministry uh, because they also had a church. And at that time, the, the um, uh, what do you call it, the, the hundredfold return teaching was going on. And so I started getting in my mind, and I confess it was me, you know, started listening to that and started talking to Barb about it. It's like, look, if we get $15, we may get, we're going to get 1500 back. I mean, this is, this is what God is saying. This is what the teachers are saying. This is what the, the prophets are saying. And we felt grieved in our spirit. We didn't know why it didn't feel quite right. And, and we gave like that a couple times. So thank you, Father, we're giving this 15, this 15. Thank you for the 1500 And we'd sell that and we'd look for it and nothing would happen. And Barb said this one day, she said, I know why we're grieved. She said, because we used to give because we love God and we love others. And we've left love to follow a, a principle, to follow a formula. And oh my, she was so right. And, and we just said a quick prayer of repentance and got our hearts right. 
and, and we've never left that ever since. That's why we, we live to give. But the first thing I want to share today is, is the reason we give is because our, our walk with God is dynamic. Our, the fact is, even if you feel like you're going through the wilderness right now, the fact that you know God, you're above everybody else in the world who doesn't know God. And out of that heart, we want to give. Now, that is why the word tzedakah, is translated righteousness. It's, it's got a close relative named Chesed, and I'm not sure if I'll get into it here so much today, but I want to t- take these two elements. Tzedakah means to give your money to somebody else. It's the word righteousness in the Old Testament. It's also translated charity and almsgiving. And why is righteousness automatically translated as giving to somebody else, giving your finances to somebody else? There's another word from the word Chesed uh, that is in Hebrew, Gemelut Hasadim which is G-E-M-I-L-U-T, new word, H-A-S-D-I-M. Gelut Hasadim comes out of the tzedakah, comes out of the righteousness, and that involves not just money, but it involves time, energy, resources, and things like that. And so these two words together are translated righteousness. Now the question for us in the New Testament, because we always interpret the Old Testament through the eyes of the New, is this. If righteousness in the Old Testament means giving to one another, because there is this flow you know, the fact of the matter is, folks, I was taught, I mean, I, I remember back to 1979 being taught by anointed Bible teachers who knew God, who taught good things. They said, what does righteousness mean? Righteousness means right standing with God. And they only saw the vertical. And that's all most of us are taught is, is the vertical, that righteousness means we're right standing before God. And we miss, it's like washing your feet with your socks on. You know, we're missing something here. The fact is righteousness in the Old Testament, tzedakah and and chesed, they are translated as almsgiving and giving acts of righteousness, giving of oneself to, to another, because righteousness is giving. It's not just the vertical, it's the horizontal as well. In fact, you can't be righteous with God unless you're also righteous with man. You can't be in right standing with God all by itself and be wrong with man. Righteousness embodies the horizontal, the horizontal and the vertical. Now, New Testament giving. Who do we give to? In the Old Testament, they gave to the temple. In the New Testament, what does 1 Corinthians 3.16 say? 1 Corinthians 6.19. 1 Corinthians 3.16, 6.19, Colossians 1, 26, 27. What's it say? Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Do you not know that the Holy Spirit lives within you? Paul said in what, Luke 17, 20, or Acts 17, 24, he said, God does not live in a building made with hands. Folks, if you walk into a church and the pastor says, isn't it good to be in God's house today? Man, I'd run for the nearest exit. Well, that's my opinion. I'm sorry. Get off the soapbox too. I'm trying to teach the word. Sorry for opinion there. <laughs> it's just, it's so Old Testament. And it's just not, it's like you're starting off on the wrong foot right away. It's not God's house. I'm God's house. You who have Christ in you, you're God's house. So in the Old Testament, when they gave, when their righteousness, their tzedakah, their chesed, their gamalut hasadim, when, when, when they gave to others, that was through the temple system. But in the New Testament, we're the temples of God. So that is why in the book of Acts, you see them giving to one another and giving to leaders, giving to people who sowed into their lives because they recognize to be righteous with God vertically means also being righteous with God and flowing from the dynamics of that relationship outward to others. That is why there are no strings attached. That's why there are in the New Testament, there's no tithing taught. A tithing teacher would be laughed out of town in, in, in the New Testament. Why? Because when you're in Christ and you're righteous vertically, and you're walking in the light that you have, and you have fellowship one with another, and that ongoing cleansing blood of Jesus is going on, you naturally want to give to people. You naturally want to be involved in people's lives. And so, you know, a person is not responsible for 10%. We are responsible for 100% of our lives, of our resources, of our talents, of our skills, and of our time. That if our brother or sister has need, we give to them. Because out of the dynamics of the vertical flow, that that love, horizontal. And that is why... and these two things, that's what I'm covering today, the tzedakah and the, the uh, chesed, the gamalut hasadim, which is the giving of your money in, in tzedakah and beyond that, uh, time, resources, and energy, is part of righteousness, the vertical and horizontal. And then who does, who does that flow go to? It goes to the temple of God to this day. Like in the Old Testament, 
They, were the, they had a temple system and they had priests, etc. Now you and I are temples. So that is why you're free to give to that brother and sister. How many of us have sat in the pew and, and, and had a push from the pulpit and you know that brother or sister sitting next to you needs their rent money and you've got your offering and you say, how much, I, how much I would love to give to them? Folks, you are. If you're outside of that auditorium system and you're in relationship-based faith, as we do here at Church That Walls International, the, 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 the flow of house church, where you're free to give to one another, uh, free to give to leadership, free to give to whomever, your time, resources, money, etc. If you just keep that dynamic in mind, that the bounds are off, folks, that, that you're, you don't go from cursing at 9.99% to blessing and the heavens open for you at 10.001%. No, it, we are New Testament. They, that means that we give 100% of ourselves available. And we, out of the dynamics of that flow, of that vertical love that we have for God and relationship with him, we naturally flow outward to others. That is the word righteousness. Righteousness means the vertical and the horizontal right standing with God. All right, in part two, I'm going to cover the Malachi 3 and rock somebody's world because there's just so much junk out there about that and a couple of other things in part two. Until then, God bless.